Temporal processing has to do with the way in which the brain learns information at, across time. So the effects of time and timing on learning uh, is really important, and yet we know very little about it. I think some of the most important newer discoveries have to do with an understanding that some of the basic, really basic principles about how neurons interact with each other um, relate all the way up into aspects of learning that are important in everyday life. And particularly um, Hebbian learning, or what's called Hebbian learning, has an axiom that most many neuroscientists know, and it says neurons that fire together nearly simultaneously in time wire together and become automatic in terms of their organization. What we've learned most recently is that there are quite significant individual differences in terms of what nearly simultaneously in time might be for each individual brain. And that might affect and does affect the way in which the organization of all incoming sensory information is chunked together in time as being either a part or not a part of important percepts. A percept could be something like a speech sound or a syllable or even a visual symbol like a comb or a TV set or something like that. So in each percept there are lots and lots of features that are important and those features have to somehow be bound together in our brain so that you don't have to process each and every little one of them every time you see something or hear something. They just snap out as a represented percept. And what we're learning is that time and timing is one of the most important aspects of what ends up being put together and what doesn't. And most importantly, that there are very significant individual differences that you can measure even in infancy that turn out to be the most predictive aspects of differences across individuals in language learning. So this whole issue of time and timing in learning goes from the neuron level of how they become cell assemblies and form together all the way up into how we form together percepts that are made up of many different aspects of uh, sensory information both within modalities like the auditory modality or the visual modality and may more, maybe more importantly still between and across modalities. It all comes together in this time and timing and the most really new information for me is that there may be this really important continuum um, with time and timing being really essential for how each individual brain works and sees and perceives the world differently from another brain.